Bad breath is something that can be very embarrassing and that is why I am here to talk about it. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Bad breath is something that can be very embarrassing and that is why I am here to talk about it. It's not something that is peculiar to some people, even the best people that practice like very good oral hygiene, it can happen to almost anybody. It depends on like at what stage or what is happening, like at one point or the other. Sometimes when you fast, of course, if you've not eaten in a while, you will have bad breath or you tend to have bad breath. Bad breath can be as a result of many things, can be as a result of medication, hormones, Things that you can't even control, even when you've done almost everything you might need to do, sometimes you still have bad breath once in a while. Sometimes food can be stuck in your mouth and you will not know, and by the time you open your mouth, the smell that woos out, oh my goodness, it might be unpleasant. It can be really embarrassing, but trust me, it's not peculiar to one set or a particular kind of person. That is why I am here to talk about it because it can happen to almost anybody. So I'm going to be talking about natural remedies in which we can use to ward off bad breath. So whether it is for you or for any other person you know, these are things that we should take note of and there are many things you can use to get rid of bad breath. The first thing you should do is to chew on fresh herbs. Fresh herbs in this case, parsley, basil, mint. Mint is very very good. Even if you can't grab any other thing even if you don't have a mouth spray if you have any of those fresh herbs at home it's really going to help you especially mint leaves like instead of having that bad breath you can imagine having like very good breath like this that is minty there's a reason why they put a lot of mint in our paste that we use for our teeth so of course the mint will really work so even if you don't have any other thing just chew on some fresh herbs and bad breath be gone you can also use rosemary cilantro it is believed that the chlorophyll in these herbs is going to help to ward off the bad breath apart from the nice smells they have so it's not just about the fragrance it's also in the content it has so the chlorophyll will help to like ward off bad breath the second thing you can use to erase bad breath is the zinc creams they are like kind of mouthwashes that have zinc if you start like zinc in particular it's going to really help for bad breath but what if you don't have a mouthwash that contains zinc you can also use like zinc tablets or zinc supplements just like grind them into powder mix with a bit of water and use it to gargle like a mouth drinks and of course bad breath is a thing of the past you can supplement with probiotics anytime you feel that you're having bad breath it might be something that is happening from your guts like from your belly or your stomach what you can do in this case is to, is to take a lot of probiotics you can take yogurt or you can even take probiotic supplements by the time you combat the bad bacteria with probiotics of course bad breath will be gone number four is to take a lot of apple cider vinegar apart from apple cider vinegar helping with so many things it aids digestion it helps to keep your cravings at bay and all those other things it can also help with bad breath so take some apple cider vinegar you can take it and ingest it with your water or you can even use it as a mouthwash if you don't have mouthwash you can use some apple cider vinegar as mouthwash just take a bit mix it with water and use it to rinse your mouth thoroughly before you spit it out on the other hand you can actually like drink apple cider vinegar it's also going to help you like tremendously it's going to help with digestion and many other things number five stay hydrated sometimes bad breath is not something that is an overkill it might just be for the fact that you are dehydrated and you don't have a lot of water going on in your system Drinking water does a lot of things for you. It flushes out toxins from your body. It's a body detox. Like people ask me that what's the best way to detox? The best way to detox is to take a lot of water. It's as simple as that. Adding some other things to it is just like added benefits. Adding like cucumbers, mains, it's just one of the added benefits. But the first thing you need to do is to drink a lot of water. Water is key. Water is the best thing you can do. So stay hydrated as much as possible. Another thing that you can do if you want to get rid of bad breath is not to skip your meals. Of course, when you fast, you have bad breath. But if you can't help it, if most times fasting is for a good thing it's good to engage in fasting to reset your hormones to boost your immunity and for those that want to even like 
shed some weight so you just have to balance it all out just know that anytime you fast most times you might have bad breath so, but like i mentioned earlier on there are many things you can do as remedies to get rid of the bad breath so you can also like engage in using nature's own toothbrushes there are many toothbrushes and these things are not like far-fetched apples celery carrots they are fibrous in nature and they can help to keep your mouth very healthy this food scrub plaque from your teeth they stimulate your gums and they freshen your breath snacking on these foods are also going to like help you to increase saliva production if there's an increase in saliva in your mouth it will not give you bad breath so nature's toothbrushes celery apples carrots which have a lot of high fiber in them are very good for you if you want to like get rid of bad breath like almost totally in addition to like taking water consuming a lot of green tea too is going to help you a great deal it's been studied and it's been found that if you take at least one to two cups of green tea in a day can help to like stop halitosis which is also like bad breath so consuming green tea is just very beneficial it has a lot of immense benefits for weight loss for healthy weight for like getting rid of belly fat it also helps with bad breath this is because of the antibacterial properties found in the polyphenols in green tea so drink your water and drink your green tea you can also use baking soda as a mouth rinse just like I said earlier on for the apple cider vinegar, take at least one teaspoon of baking soda and dilute it in like a glass of water. Use this as a mouth rinse like morning and evening and you see that bad breath will totally go away. You should also engage in using a tongue scraper. Sometimes the residues of what is in our mouth is the thing that gives rise to bad breath, the plaque and all that. Invest in a tongue scraper to remove all dead skin cells bacteria and all those nasty things that might have been left from the residue of food so apart from brushing your teeth even if you don't have a tongue scraper you can try using your toothbrush at first this will not help in total but it's better than using nothing even if you can just grab a toothbrush for the main purpose of like using it to scrape your tongue is very very good for you when you finish brushing your teeth ensure that you also scrape your tongue after you finish brushing not just your teeth your tongue still needs to be cleaned thoroughly on the top of your tongue underneath your tongue needs to be cleaned thoroughly so that you don't have bad breath and of course the last but not the least is for you to brush regularly how often do you brush and how often do you change your toothbrush as well these things are things that we've learned all the year like what we know from being little but you need to like imbibe it as a culture brush at least twice a day if you can especially at night because sometimes you go to bed with a lot of food in your mouth and those things just stay there they hang there till the next morning by the next morning you might have had a lot of build up and that's when the bad breath even comes like strongly so if you can brush last thing at night i like doing this because it just like tells me mentally that after i have brushed nothing else should go into my mouth so it actually like helps with all those like late night or midnight snacking but this is like something that i just do as a habit it doesn't mean that this is what you should do or this will work for everybody sometimes some people go to brush their teeth and after some time you still feel the pangs of hunger so but the major thing is you need to brush as much as you can brush floss clean your tongue clean your teeth properly and try to visit your dentist as well i know we are many many of us are guilty of not visiting the dentist to check on our teeth and all that but you should you need to like keep a routine check on your teeth so guys these are some of the ways in which you can get rid of bad breath do you know any other one let me know in the comments section don't keep this video to yourself kindly share kindly pass it around and wait a minute have you subscribed to my channel please use this opportunity to subscribe to my channel for many more videos like this and i hope to see you next time please do come back and stay beautiful because you're beautiful bye